Hello, welcome to this new video tutorial series on Wise and Unreal Engine by Music Hackspace. I am Eduardo and today I'm going to show you how to correctly integrate Wise into Unreal Engine and how to play our first sound event into the engine. And to do that, what you're going to need is just Audio Kinetic Wise and Unreal Engine. So let's start. So first of all, what you're going to do is to create an account on the Audio Kinetic website. You can do it here, clicking login, create account, and uh, just put your credential, like email, password here, and that's it. Once you've created your account, you can download the Audio Kinetic Launcher. And here you can access on the Audio Kinetic Launcher with your account. You can do the login. I'm already in into my account, then you will need to download the latest web version by clicking just on here and you can choose latest version or old version to be displayed. So if you click on here, you can choose the major version, we're going to choose the 2023.1 and here you can choose the minor version and in this case it will be the 2023.1.5. You can click on install. Here, we will need to install the authoring packaging and uh, the SDK as well. And on Microsoft, we'll need both Visual Studio 2019 and Visual Studio 2022. So we can go and click on Next here. We can choose our uh, plugins. We will not need them all, also because uh, some of them are, um, you need to be paid for them. If you are doing a non-commercial project or if you are doing a educational project, you will, you can ask the Kinetic for a free license. So I will suggest you to install the mastering suite, the convolution, because we're gonna need to probably later on the input response by Altiverb as well. And, uh, everything else will not be needed. So we can untick everything here as well. The OLED phone, same with the sweet eyes stuff. This one as well. And you can tick impactor if you want to experiment a little bit with this new plugin, which is very nice to experiment with. You can click then on install. So now we have our latest wise, wise version installed. Here, the operation has been completed successfully. And now we can go and download the Epic Games Launcher. Launcher here, you can click here and download it. And you will also need, if you don't have it already, to create an account on Epic Games. We can create it by with Facebook, Google, or just with the email. And once you're done with the downloading, you can open the Epic Game Launcher. Here you can log in with your account. And then you can click on Unreal Engine Library. And here on Engine Version, by clicking on the plus, you will display the latest, all the latest engine version. In this case, we will gonna use the 5.4.2 that I already have installed, but to install a new version, you can just like, in this case, for example, click here on install and then again, install and that's it. There will be no need for you to do any like specific or particular stuff for the installations. So once we're done with that, we can launch our engine and then click on games, third person blueprint. And we can choose our name for the project, like test integration. And then create our project. After we have created our new project, we can then close it and go to the Audio Kinetic Launcher, click on Unreal Engine, and here we will see our Unreal project in which we can integrate WISE. So we click there 
and check that everything is correct. Yeah. And we can integrate everything and wait for the operation to be completed. Once uh, the project has been integrated, we can cl click here and open in WISE our project with the latest version. And here we are. This is our WISE project. Now we can test it and by bringing a sound into the project with drag and drop here under actor mixer hierarchy on the default work unit, click import. And now we have our first sound into our project and we can test it by um, click the, clicking the space bar while the sound is selected. Cool. As you can see, we can hear the sound. Then we can create our event. We can click on uh, events tab here, uh, right click default work unit, new child event, and we can call it test one. Then we can go back to the audio tab and drag and drop our sound from here to here. And then we can click again on the events tab. And if we select our event with spacebar, we can test it and hear our sound. Yes. So next step will be to create a sound bank. We can switch layout by clicking F7 on our keyboard. And here we are on the sound bank layout in which we can now create our sound bank by right clicking on default work unit, selecting sound bank, select the sound bank. We can call it uh, test SB. And then we can just drag and drop our event on the sound bank test SB here. Now we will need to generate our sound bank. We can tick here the platform as well and languages, and then right clicking on our test SB, we can click on generate sound bank. And that's it. So the sound bank has been created. And this is our sound bank generated sound bank window, in which we can uh, display everything uh, related to the sound bank. We can now save our project and uh, close it. We can open the project into Unreal Engine and uh, see that uh, everything is working correctly. So we can test our event in the engine and check that our integration has been done correctly. So. Here we are, our project is open, but as you can see here on the WISE browser, we have a message that says root output path in WISE integration settings is empty. This folder should match the root output path in the WISE project sound bank settings. By default, this folder is named generated sound banks and is located inside the WISE project directory. So now, we will need to manually allocate the generated sound banks uh, folder in the directory. We can do that in wise integration settings here and under the root output path, we can click on the three dots and choose a new directory here on our real projects. Let's select our test integration project, test integration wise project and here, there's the generated sound banks folder that we can select. Close this window. And then we can save and generate our sound bank in the Unreal so for Windows. And the sound banks has been generated correctly, as you can see from the front sound. So now we have generated our sound bank in Unreal Engine as well. Uh, after uh, that we have um, relocated manually the um, directory for the root output path, we can check if the event is placed correctly, but it says that the asset is missing. So what we can do is right click and here on the event on reconcile selected assets here, click again on reconcile, reconcile real assets and now the asset, as you can see, is up to date, so everything should work correctly.
So now in order to check our integration, we need to create a Blueprint class, actor, name it test, sorry, test uh, one, open the Blueprint by clicking on it. And here on event graph, we can and begin play. We can select our node that will be a post event node here on the audio kinetic. So we can select our event that is this one. We can give a self reference to the actor, self reference here. And we could also add a sphere components so that we can, that would be useful for debugging purposes. For example, if the, if we can see the sphere, but not the sound, we know that there's might be some problem with the sound, but not with the blueprint. So we can now compile and save. So our test blueprint is now been done. And now we can go on the open level blueprint here. And we will need to call our blueprint. So to spawn our blueprint, we can use a keyboard letter node, for example. Let's say we can use, sorry, the letter Q. And on pressed, we will want it to spawn our actor. So Spawn actor for class node. Here on class, we can select our test one blueprint. And here on the spawn transform pin, we can add a make a transform node. And uh, here on the location, we can decide uh, where we want to spawn. So we can say 400 here, 300 and 50 that should work so now we can compile and save and go into play mode and test if our blueprint uh, is spawned by pressing q yes so it's working everything uh, is working correctly so now what we can do is to Open again our level blueprint and split the pin here into three different pin so that we can randomize a bit our, uh, like the, the location of the spawning of the blueprint. We can choose random floating range node to do that. So we can add a minimum value of 200 and a maximum value of 500 for the x-axis, uh, same thing with the y-axis, uh, uh, yeah, that would, that would work. And for the um, z-axis, we can choose uh, for a minimum of 50 and a maximum of 150. Now we can compile and save, and then go again into play mode. And check if it's working correctly by pressing Q. Yes. Okay. Nice. So great. Everything worked as intended, meaning that our wise integration into Unreal has been done correctly. And you will find all the link needed to download the audio chelating launcher and the Epic Games launcher just here below the video and I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you on the next one and thanks for watching ciao